All right, I'm back with Zach Hines, and uh, you know, they say the first time is the best when it comes to anything in life. Last year was really special, but this was pretty cool too, wasn't it? Absolutely, nothing beats this feeling. You know, it was the reason why all of us six years and all of us fifth years came back. You know, we decided, you know, we wanted this feeling again, and you know, we came here and this is what we did, and we achieved it. We've been talking about what a complete team you guys are, and today was a perfect example of that. The offense, Drove the ball down, looked great in the first drive, but Montana really controlled the game for the rest of the half, and it was, I'm guessing it was a little frustrating for you guys not to have the ball more. Uh, you know, just waiting to get that opportunity, just waiting because we knew that they weren't doing, you know, too many things to really stop us. They were playing some line games, but you know, just when we had the ball and we weren't going to hurt ourselves, you know, we could do the things that we wanted to do. Well, and there was about a six-minute span in the third quarter when the game just kind of busted your way two touchdowns and then a turnover and a field goal and you had to feel like you pretty much had things in control with the way you were playing. Yeah, you know, never wanted to let our foot off the gas and, you know, just finish this thing out the right way. But, you know, that was kind of one of those examples of just, you know, we didn't get in our own way. We were able to, you know, communicate, get things blocked up right and just, you know, be able to roll. Thor and Josh were just talking about the fact that uh, is this the best team that the FCS has ever had? I knew Josh was going to push back a little on that because he played at North Dakota State. Uh, and there have been some great teams for sure. So I'm not going to label you as the best FCS team ever, but I'm going to label you as one of the best. It's arguable which team is the best. But as a Sioux Falls kid, how does it feel to be part of a team like that? You know, it's so special. You know, it's so close to where I grew up. And I grew up coming to games here and everything like that. You know, I've been a Jackrabbit fan since, you know, I was a little kid. And just being able to see where this place has, you know, come from and where it's been and just be able to, you know, help it get to the top of the mountain twice. Um, it's an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, we, we talked after the game in the mist, the last game at Dana J that she played that was almost surreal with the, uh, the weather conditions. How does this feel today? <laughs> it, it, nothing tops this. Not the first one, not anything else. This is, this is the best feeling in the world because this is exactly what we set out to do with this group. Pretty proud of your, pretty proud of your guys. Absolutely, I wouldn't trade these guys for anyone else in the world. The connection that we have and the love that we have for each other, you know, for guys a lot of the times, like love isn't a word that people typically use. You, know, you, you're around our team, you hear it hundreds, if not thousands, of times a day. Like, guys are leaving. Like, hey man, see ya, have a great day, love you. Like, it's, it's just infectious with what we have and the people that we are and um, just how close we are. You keep doing that the rest of your life because it makes a big difference when you tell people you love them. Seriously, not just this team, but whatever team you're involved with in life, it matters. Absolutely. Um, you know, just if there's anyone out there, you know, just just say it. You know, it's if you feel that way, just say it. It's it's one of the greatest feelings in the world. You know, just like being a part of this team. Just you know, just to be able to love a group of guys and you know that they love you back and. You, but you just go out there and play free because there's no worry about, you know, if anyone's going to hold anything against you. Congrats, champ. Thank you. All right. Zach Hines, our guest here. We're uh, going to throw it back to the studio. We'll be back during the 5 and 6 o'clock news with more, or 5 and 5.30 news with more. For now, with Adam Huntimer, I'm Mark Ovenden. Back to you guys in the studio. Great job, and thank you.